Alrighty, hello everyone, how are you? Had a good day so far? First day on campus? Um, Alright, so we might get started. Thank you all for being here to learn everything about clubs and student communities on campus here at Flinders. Um, this is also being live streamed, so we'll have some people joining online, so hello everyone online. Um, and it'll be recorded as well. Um, so my name's David Hopkins. I'm the program coordinator of the Clubs and Student Communities program here at Flinders. Uh, I'm joined by Catherine Francis, who's our club's assistant. Um, ooh, I apologise. So I work with uh, the Flinders University Student Association, uh, FUSA. You might have seen us downstairs earlier today or our comms uh, on social media as well. Um, FUSA really exists to represent students' rights and interests on campus. Uh, so we have a whole load of services, academic advocacy uh, and financial support when you're in need. Um, we have social events and welfare events throughout the year, things like uni ball that's coming up in the next couple of months, um, and orientation obviously. Clubs and student communities, which is what you're here today for. Uh, we also have our representative network, so we have student reps in most classes and topics around the university working to make uh, classes better for other students. Uh, and we also have our student magazine, which is Empire Times. Uh, so that's created and published by students as well. Um, we're actually governed by a student council. So that's elected by students each year in October. And they set the direction and the path of the sorts of events and sorts of things that we work towards over the following 12 months. Uh, I also wanted to acknowledge, firstly, that we're meeting today on Ghana land, um, and I wanted to uh, recognise uh, elders past and present. Flinders operates on lands both in South Australia, uh, but also across the Northern Territory, uh, up in Alice Springs and Darwin as well. Um, so if you have any questions after this session, if you want to get in touch, uh, my email is there, clubs at flinders.edu.au. Uh, you can also just drop into the FUSA office, which is on level one of the hub, the building that we're in now. Uh, so just down one level. Alrighty, so the clubs on offer, we have actually over 80 student clubs affiliated with FUSA uh, at the moment. That number wanes up and down over the course of the year. Um, we usually get about 15 or 20 new clubs each year as well. Um, and so we look after all of the non-sporting clubs. Uh, so your academic, cultural and spiritual, social justice and political, special interest and social and outdoors. Uh, the sporting clubs, which there's 20 plus of, are run through Flinders University Sport and Fitness. Uh, they're located down in the Alan Mitchell Sports Centre, just at the end of Registry Road, where the buses come in. Um, and so if you're interested in getting involved with one of their clubs, you can head over to their website. Uh, just on the banner under Sport, you'll be able to find clubs as well. Uh, so the academic clubs, um, we have clubs that cover most areas across all six colleges. So chances are there'll be a club uh, related to what you're studying. Um, and they're gra a great way to meet students in a kind of non-formal, non-classroom um, non oriented setting. Um, great way to meet students from other year levels, maybe third years, fourth years, honours students, PhD students as well, getting to learn from them. Um, we have uh, several academic clubs that actually have their own offices on campus as well. So clubs like the Law Students Association, Business Students, uh, Psych, Social Work, they all have their own offices so you can pop in, have a coffee, have a chat to their, their team as well. Uh, the cultural and spiritual clubs, uh, we have about 15 of those ones um, ranging from clubs all around the world. Um, they usually put on special interest events, so things like Eid, uh, Lunar New Year, Diwali as well. Um, and if you're particularly an international student and you look at our clubs list and don't see a cultural club that is what you want to join and from your background, please get in touch with us because we're really interested in expanding that area. Um, we have our social justice and political clubs. So that's the one, if you're interested in a particular cause, those are probably the people that you want to chat with. 
and special interest and social, mainly those uh, hobby areas like film, uh, like performing arts, like music, like dancing, things like that. Um, so a few of those examples, um, of course we have 80, so this is just a few. Your academic clubs like the Science Club, Business Students Association, Computer Society, the cultural clubs like the Chinese Association and the Indian Association, uh, spiritual clubs, evangelical students and Muslim Association. We actually have a couple of Muslim clubs and a couple of Christian denomination clubs on campus as well. Your social justice clubs like the Sustainability and Environment Collective and the Health and Human Rights Group uh, and those uh, special interest and social clubs like Future, which is the tabletop and role-playing enthusiasts and the Social Debating Society as well. Uh, one thing to come back to is that all of these clubs are run by students for students. The idea of this is that Staff may have a little bit of an idea about what students want to see on campus, but really students know best. Um, and so these uh, clubs will check in with their membership each year, have a chat to them, see what sorts of events and activities they want to see on campus, and look towards implementing them and hosting those sorts of events. Uh, I know this is probably just your first semester on campus, but you can volunteer to get involved if you're interested. Uh, you can just give an hour or two to help at an event, like a ball or a pub crawl, uh, or if you're really interested, you can get involved with the committee and even the leadership later down the line, become a president, a secretary, a treasurer, a vice president of one of these clubs as well. Uh, so a little bit of an idea of some of the events and activities that our clubs get up to. This is really split kind of between social uh, events and activities and your more academic events and activities. Um, and each of this will really depend on the individual club. A few examples of some events we've had recently, the Ahmadiyya Muslim so Association put on a charity walk in the parklands in the city uh, for homelessness. The Computer Society put on a Smash Bros industry event, which is actually a networking event, but instead of all sitting around and chatting over drinks, they play Super Smash Bros on Nintendo together. Um, the Chinese Association did their Dragon Boat Festival. Speleological Society, which is actually caving, they went down to Coralin uh, on the York Peninsula, which is about two and a half hours drive away to go underground caving out there. Um, and the Performing Arts Society has actually just last week finished their run of Frankenstein. Uh, so they put on theatre productions each year as well. Some upcoming events to... Uh, be excited for. The Hellenic Association, so the Greek club, are putting on their Hellenic Grand Ball, which is really great in, I believe, October, November. Uh, great food, awesome music, dancing, a fun cultural event. Uh, Sustainability and Environment Club are doing Foraging 101, learning about some of the items that you can eat on campus. Feel free to come in and grab a seat if you're interested. Easy. Um, the Queer Collective is running the Queer Ball uh, later in the year for the first time in a long time. Uh, Health and Human Rights Group uh, next month have their Heat Night, which is like a Got Talent event uh, run by students. Uh, that's held in the city and all of the money that's raised for that uh, goes to charity, which is really great. Uh, and then we have all of the uh, semester two pub crawls to look out for and the end of year balls for all of the academic clubs as well. Uh, just a few of those examples. On the left there is Society for Creative Anachronism, which is a long word for medieval reenactment, basically. Um, they do things like feasts, sword fighting, archery, uh, that sort of thing. So if that's your interest, feel free. It's a little bit niche. Um, in the middle there is the Indian Association. Uh, that's from their Holly event, which they held at uh, earlier in the year down at Sturt campus. Uh, they also have Diwali coming up, uh, Bollywood nights, some dancing classes, uh, and their Desi Ball that they're running for the first time ever later in the year, which is really exciting. Uh, and then on the right there is the Neurodivergent Study Support and Advocacy Group. So they put on things like uh, study sessions, picnics. At the moment, they're campaigning for sensory spaces on campus. So if you're part of that community, it's a really great 
uh, place to get some support. Some of the benefits of joining a club, um, honestly, genuinely just a really good way to have some fun on campus, get more involved, uh, meet new people, make new friends. Uh, obviously, starting at university can be pretty daunting, um, whether you've come over from overseas or interstate or just starting and don't know any familiar faces in your classes. Uh, and so it's a great way to kind of make some connections. Uh, and although I guess the priority of coming to uni is your study, getting your degree, uh, there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, and so the social side of things is really important. Uh, club members pretty frequently uh, mention being a member of a club or being on the committee of a club as one of the highlights of being at uni as well. And then obviously there's the professional side of things, uh, particularly being involved in the committees. Uh, great on your CV, getting some of that leadership experience, experience around budgeting, event planning, um, running finances, uh, running a team as well, managing meetings. Um, and then also the networking side of things. So networking with students, but also networking with staff as well, uh, getting to know members of faculty, which is pretty invaluable when you're going for job applications later in your degree or internships as well. Um, from my own experience, the first couple of years of uni, I didn't really get involved. Priority was studying. Um, not necessarily that that priority changed later on, but I did get involved in the social clubs, the sports clubs, uh, the academic clubs as well. Really changed the, the way I studied and my experience at uni as well. Okay, how to join a club. Scan the QR code up there. That'll take you to our full club list. Uh, that QR code is also on the flyers that we've got at the front of the room. Um, you can see all of the club's social media, their Instagram profiles, their Facebook profiles as well. Uh, so make sure you follow them on there. And then a lot of the clubs will have a membership form on their social media that you can fill out. Um, if they don't, you can always flick them in an email uh, or a message or DM and just ask them to get involved. Uh, and then you can always head to our website as well to find some more details about all of that. Uh, the cost, right? Uh, the good thing is that most of FUSA's clubs are free to join. Uh, a couple of them, predominantly the medicine and health related clubs, will have a small fee, probably in the range of about 5 to $15, either for your entire degree or each year, just for membership. But there are benefits that come with that, discounts on events, on coffees on campus, things like that. Uh, the events themselves, there's a mix of paid and free events. The smaller events will usually always be free. You'll get lunch, you'll get dinner as part of those events. Uh, the paid events will be things like your pub crawl where you're going to be paying for your shirt or the ball where you'll be paying for a ticket for that. Um, the sport and fitness clubs uh, do have a yearly membership fee. Uh, it is cheaper for students. Those clubs do welcome members of the community as well. Um, that's to cover things like equipment, insurance, um, and uh, uniforms and things like that as well. Uh, we are actually running club stalls next Monday the 24th and Tuesday the 25th of July uh, in the student hub. So it'll be uh, the level below us and then the ground level. We've got about 50 clubs registered to come along. Uh, be a great chance for you to just chat with them, see what they're up to, see what they're doing. Uh, you can join them there and then as well. Uh, they also have a whole heap of giveaways and competitions that they'll be running uh, on those two days. Uh, if you're studying at Tonsley, so the STEM degrees, um, this Wednesday the 19th, the Science and Engineering Clubs will be down there. So Computer Society, Cyber Security, uh, Engineers, Robotics, things like that. Uh, so make sure you get to them as well. Um, what you have to look forward to next week, although the weather won't be as nice and it'll be cold outside, unfortunately. Um, starting a club. Uh, so I know you've only just started, but I thought I'd pitch this to you now. Um, if you can't find a club that you want to join or you're super passionate about something that we don't already have, please feel free to start a club. Uh, we'll provide you with funding, training, support, equipment, room bookings. You can book this space to hold your events in. Um, some of the clubs that we've gotten started in just the last month or two, the Nepalese Student Club, 
uh, psychiatry, creative industries, chess, marine biology. So there's quite a variety there. Um, some of the random ideas that you might be interested in. Uh, most of the academic clubs are already running. So chances are uh, that already exists. But if an academic club for your degree doesn't already exist, please get in touch with us and we can work on creating something. Uh, if you're passionate about something in particular, whether that's fashion or dancing or coffee or karaoke, anything really, honestly, um, please get in touch. I will give you $1,000 a year to buy cheese and crackers and chat about life, honestly. Um, and that is a good thing about what we do. We provide funding to all of the clubs um, to do catering, to book venues, to do shirts and merchandise runs and that sort of thing. Uh, essentially, the idea is to give these clubs money so that they can invest that back into students' experience on campus. Uh, so from here, just a couple of final bits and pieces. Uh, that first QR code takes you to our Instagram. If you haven't already, we're running a Frank Green Keep Cup competition. Uh, we have about 26 to give away. Just follow us on Instagram, like that first post, and then tag a friend. Uh, that's a random competition. On Instagram, we post about things like this orientation, but also everything that our clubs are up to. Um, so please keep up to date. That second QR code is our upcoming club events link tree. So we update that every week. That has info about club events uh, this week, next week, and coming up later in the year. So everything that's already booked in for the next couple of months is on there. Um, and then obviously, please visit a club stall next week, have a chat. Uh, there'll be free lunch, there'll be popcorn, fairy floss, um, some different activities and giveaways and things like that. So uh, come on down. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to pop up your hand and ask them now. Um, I'll stick around for a little bit if you're interested in particular clubs uh, and want some more info on them or you want to start a club and just want to have a chat about that, please feel free to come on and have a chat. Cheers. No questions, but no one's leaving. <laughs> um, you're welcome to head on downstairs. Um, there will be free lunch again tomorrow, uh, live music and bits like that. So if you're on campus, come on down. Uh, next week, obviously, Monday, Tuesday are those stall days. Uh, sport and Fitness is running some activations on Wednesday in the bottom floor of the hub, some sports and wellbeing oriented stuff. Uh, and then Thursday, we have an Arts and Crafts Day as well. Um, if you're interested in that. Yes. Sure. So if you're joining the club, there's no commitment, whatever, whatsoever. Uh, you just put your name on their mailing list. Technically, you're a member. Um, but then from there on out, you can attend one event a year, two events a year. You could attend all of the events if you wanted to. Um, if you then want to get involved in kind of the running of the club, you can join the committee or volunteer in that way. Actually joining the club just means that you're interested in what they're up to and want to attend some of their events. You could attend all 80 if you wanted to, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so we have some people that will only join a single club because they're just passionate about that one particular thing. We have other people that have a huge range of interests, are studying across multiple degrees, and will join a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. No problem. Um, any other questions? Amazing. Cool. Uh, I'll be up here, so have a chat if you're interested. Um, otherwise, have a great rest of your day. <laughs>